Good afternoon. This is Pastor Carl with your weekly update for St. Peter's. Today is Friday, September the 4th. Um, I'm happy to announce that starting this Sunday, September the 6th at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, St. Peter's will be holding an outdoor worship service on the lawn next to the parking lot behind the church. Uh, we're holding it this late in the day to take advantage of the shade we have back there. And our plan at this point is to hold this service every Sunday afternoon, weather permitting, until we can safely resume worship inside the sanctuary. Now, we will still be providing online worship each week, uh, but we want to give folks an opportunity to experience live worship on a weekly basis as well. And like in a regular Sunday morning service, we will have an opportunity uh, for the giving of tithes and offerings. And we will have some chairs available, uh, but we encourage you to bring a lawn chair from home if you have one. Now, in light of the increasing number of COVID-19 infections in our community, uh, we ask you to please observe uh, a few guidelines in regards to this worship service. If you're not comfortable with being in a group setting at this time, don't feel obligated to come. Uh, feel free to stay at home. If you're not feeling well or if you have been exposed to COVID-19 or exhibited any symptoms of the virus in the last 10 days, we ask you to please stay home to avoid the risk of exposing someone else to what may or may not be a serious infection. Uh, we have heard stories uh, and I've known of several church events um, that have unintentionally resulted in outbreaks of COVID-19. And folks, that's the last thing we want to happen here. We are also asking people to please wear a mask or a face covering. Uh, please observe physical distancing, a distance of six feet in seating and in greeting one another. Uh, we know how badly we all want to hug each other, but we request that everyone avoid physical contact at this church event. Last week when we had our Celebration of Spirit event, um, all of this social distancing and masks and everything just seemed to work really well. And we appreciate everybody who came and uh, followed those guidelines. We as a church and as our COVID-19 response team, and as the staff parish committee, and as the pastor, we all recognize that gathering in community is a big part of being a church family. And we've all missed being together as a church. I have missed it just as much as anyone. And so it's my prayer that these Sunday afternoon services are going to provide a way for us to gather and to worship together during these unprecedented times. I'd like to share a little bit of scripture this afternoon. Uh, this comes from the book of Psalms, uh, reading from Psalm 51. The psalmist writes, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So that you are proved right when you speak and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Surely you desire truth in the inner parts. You teach me wisdom in the inmost place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. 
Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will turn back to you. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. A relationship with God begins with God reaching out to us. Through his grace, he draws us towards him. That is, his grace enables us to recognize our sin. And when we recognize our sin, we see that there's something that stands in the way between us and God. He's pulling us towards him, but something is in the way. And it's our disobedience. And through the forgiveness for that sin and disobedience, through the forgiveness made available in Jesus Christ, that something that stands between us and God is removed. What is it that God requires of us? Does he require fancy worship? No. Does he require sacrifices? No. What he wants is for us to recognize in our hearts that our sins have been committed against him. When we commit a sin, we are turning our back, not on another person, but on God. And when we come to the moment that we realize that, that moment can be heartbreaking for us. I remember a time that I was on my knees in a church and it just struck me that everything I had ever done wrong in my life was an affront to God. And it broke my heart. I wept. I wept in sorrow. I wept in embarrassment. I wept in shame that I had sinned against God. And it was in that moment that God took me back. It was in that moment that God moved into my heart and gave me this assurance that I was loved, that I was forgiven. And it's in that type of a moment that you begin to live a new life. A broken and humbled heart. One that senses that we do have a need for God's forgiveness. One that realizes that only God can provide that forgiveness that we need. That type of a broken and humbled heart. That is what God desires. Remember, I am praying for you.